Hi YouTube, <clears throat> I just want to show you a cheap way to make tarantula terrariums without spending the cost. What I did was I went to Walmart and I picked up a shoebox with these closing lid locks on each side of them. It cost me three dollars. Then for the lid, what I did was I went to the 99 cent store and I got a picture frame for 99 cents. I then cut a hole on top of the lid using a soldering iron until I got the perfect desired hole that I wanted so that it fits the frame perfectly. I then super glued it right on top of it and when it comes to the locks so happens that the picture frame have these things so that it would keep the back part locked I guess and it works perfectly see it doesn't move I can lift the whole thing it's perfectly on there on top and so when it's time to feed the spiders I just simply open it lift it up like so put it back put the lock back in that's how you feed them without the chance of getting bit and when it comes to the air hole same thing again I invested on a 99 cent soldering iron at the dollar store and I cut a square actually a rectangle on the side and I got the screen mesh from a 99 cent uh, anti splash lid for frying, put on top, super glued it, and for the backdrop so it looks neat and clean, I got a double sided tape once again from the 99 cent store and put on top of there so it looks like a perfect rectangular frame. And so I'd say all in all, this terrarium cost me a total of five, six bucks and it can house a pretty decent sized tarantula and I have more right there that I made but on these ones I, I um, used the soldering iron to make the whole circle instead of a square and I cut off the bottom of a uh, of those like this disposable mouthwash plastic cups into a perfect circle and I use it as a backdrop so it looks neat that's what they look like after I think it's pretty cool it's cheap Normally you would pay $17, $20 for a terrarium this size and by me being creative and buying all the pieces and doing it on my own, it cost me 6 bucks. So now instead of one terrarium, I have three. Alright guys, so this is my do-it-yourself terrarium videos and if I come up with more creative ideas on how to make them, I'll let you guys know and I'll post it on my next video. Alright, bye.